Hello everybody, it's Jamie here from Morgan Just Games. Hope you're all well. Today, I've treated myself, and you're probably thinking, what again? Yes again. Um, you've probably guessed what it's going to be because A, you're, you've probably seen the title to this video, and two, I've mentioned it quite a few times in some of my streams. But today, I went into town with one of my friends, and he treated himself, and I treated myself. And today, I bought myself one of these. I bought myself a C64 Mini, the world's best selling home computer, reborn. Got it from Argos, cost me $69.99. And it comes with 64 classic retro games. Some of these games I've already got, and some of them I haven't even played before. But I've owned Commodore, Commodores most of my life. This is the one I've owned the longest. This one we got in the mid 80s. Works perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it. The only issue is it's showing signs of yellowing. So it needs quite a clean. But it is. But this has been played so many times. This has played many, many, many games over the years. This one I haven't owned quite as long. Uh, this one, however, is immaculate. There is not a mark on it. And I've kept it like, like, why, that way by buying a dust cover. So that really does help. Now both of those do work absolutely perfectly, but however, not all my games are working perfectly. I've got a large selection of cassettes over there, and some of them don't play. Now I don't know why they're not playing. I've tried it on both of them, and I've tried it on both tape decks. And I've also tried playing it one side, and then turning the cassette over and trying the other side. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But it's only on certain ones, so I don't know what's the issue there, but obviously technology is increasing. Computers are getting smaller, so I've wanted to buy this. And quite a few of my friends and subscribers have been asking, when am I going to get one? Am I going to get one? And uh, today I've got one. So I'm going to do a quick video of, I'm going to unbox it. This is going to be my first unboxing video for my channel. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, because I really want to play it. So I'll do a little video of some footage. For those of you that don't own one or you're thinking of getting one and then this is definitely going to be videos and streams in the future so i'm really excited and i didn't actually know until today but this is actually hdmi i didn't think it would be but it is high definition output at 720p via hdmi pixel perfect display with us euro display modes and crt filter options uh save game function and it comes with two USB ports. So obviously it comes with one joystick, not two. But yeah, the C64 mini computer, HDMI cable at 1.2 meters, 64 games pre-installed, one joystick, USB power supply, and the instruction manual. So I'm gonna open this now for this video. Let's go guys. Okay, this is the best way I can do it because I don't have a lot of room in my front room, but this is the best I've got. But uh, here we go. I'm going to try and keep this box in immaculate condition because I am a bit of a collector and I don't like things getting damaged. So I'm definitely going to look after it. But this is going to be a bit awkward with the camera here. But this should be good. Right, so there it is. And I, I love the box. I think that's a nice touch. Uh, and I've actually left my original one there as well, as you, so you can see the difference in size. But then, obviously, if you've already got one, then you know the difference in size. Oops, so there we go. There it is. And I've also got my zip stick joystick here as well. So obviously, take that out. So I'm going to make sure this doesn't get damaged, this packaging, so I want to keep it looking good. So... There we go, there it is. There it is. And there, whoops. And there's the joystick. And there is my zip stick. I use that most of the time, about 95% of the time when I'm doing videos and playing games normally. That is the joystick I normally go for. Now, I've heard mixed things about this joystick. Some people are saying it's not the best. Now, I prefer joysticks to, to control pads. I always have done. So, it looks alright to me, but obviously I haven't played anything yet, but uh, we'll see how it is. But it looks it looks great. It really does look great. Obviously, it's not the same design as the one I've, I've owned. Uh, and obviously, you have the HDMI and the mini um, USB. Um, 
the two USBs there, that's for the joysticks. Um, it, look, it looks really, really good. Really, really good. Oh, you can see the reflection of the camera there. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to plug, plug that in now. And then we are going to see some footage. So let's go, people. Okay, first things first, we need to plug in the joystick, and that goes inside here. There are two USBs, so obviously two joysticks, but at the moment I've only got one. Now at the top here we have the HDMI connector, and that goes in there. And then next to that we have a power in, which is a mini USB. Now on the other end of this, there is a USB. Now it doesn't come, surprisingly, with a plug. Um, I have got one somewhere so I need to try and find it but for now I'm going to plug this into my laptop and then hopefully the red light will come on and then we're good to go. So let's go. Hello everybody I'm back. Now I'm not going to say welcome to one of my videos even though I just did because I always say that at the start of my video but obviously this video started five ten minutes ago. Now this is a slightly different video for me because this is the first time since I started my channel um, that I've actually gone from normal footage using my camcorder and then going on to my game footage with my webcam in one video. So that is a first. But anyway, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is the manual. Now if you've owned, if you've still got the original manual, which I'm hoping a lot of you do, I do, you'll notice it looks very very similar to the original manual, apart from obviously the change of words. But again, nice touch, it's a really nice touch. Now I've had a very very brief look in this manual, um, to obviously how to move around the menu. Now as you can see, this joystick has a lot more buttons, which is going to be a bit confusing for me, because I'm not used to having a joystick with lots of buttons, only two buttons. But this one here is the menu one, the bottom right, it's got three lines on it, that is the menu. So we select language, English. And here we are, this is the main menu. How cool does that look? That is amazing, that is brilliant. You've got the image at the top left, a big image, which shows you shots of the, the game. You've got the description on the top right, you've got the author, the composer, the genre, even the year is there. And obviously you've got the image of the cassette cover down the bottom. Amazing. And this is obviously HDMI, so it's nice and sharp. So, let's just have a brief look at what we have. Some of these I do own, and some of them I've not even played before. So I'm just going to pick one at random. I've got my cases down here on the floor, just in case, you know, I found one that I do own and I want to show you. But, um, yeah, some of these I, I do have. Okay, as a, as a tryout, let's go for Monty on the Run. Now, this is a great game. I've got this one. I'll get it in a sec. So there we go. There's the pictures. You are Monty. Collect gold coins and objects that either help or hinder you as you make your way to freedom. Choose the following five items for your freedom kit before you start. Push left or right in the list and push down to select. 2, 4, 12, 13 and 16. Good luck. And there we go. 1985. So let's go for that, shall we? And it's the big, one on, on, big button on the left. So I've got this one. And as you can see, that loaded a lot quicker. In fact, I didn't get time to even get the case out. Go. I've got this one. So yeah, it's a great game. I haven't got very far on it because it is very, very difficult. So there's hardly any loading times whatsoever. Which, to be, to, to be honest, loading times wasn't really an issue for me. I don't mind waiting, it's, but some of my games don't work. That is an issue, but I don't mind the waiting providing they work. So anyway, you've got the, the, the original music, and it just looks a lot more sharper. Now, this is going to be very difficult to use this joystick because it has a lot more buttons. So, 
it's going to take some getting used to. But people did, you, there were, I did read some reviews, and some people were complaining about this joystick. So we'll have to see how it goes. Now this isn't going to be a very long playthrough, it's just a quick tryout for those of you that are thinking of getting one of these. But this is my first time, not my first time playing this game, but my first time using the Mini. Now this game is very, very difficult. I can't get very far at all. Ooh, that was close. We have to go around collecting the coins, avoiding the bad stuff, obviously. I think it only takes one, it only takes one hit to kill you. But it is incredibly challenging. Now you have these items that you can collect. That one at the top left, don't collect that. That one blows you up, if I remember rightly. Pick up the cupcake. What it does, I don't know. Start off with five lives. I forgot about that bit. So we've collected everything we need. Now we need to go back up. Like a lot of these games, each screen has a title. And this one's called The House. Whoa. This joystick is gonna take some getting used to. Do that again, shall we? But better. Ah! That's not good. One life gone already. This game, I've, I've, I've had this game a very, very long time. I used to play this around some of my friends' house in the old days. Oh my word. I always used to struggle with these. There we go. It's, they're not the same pattern each time. Ah, that's close. Oh yes, I forgot about that bit. I don't know what is the best route, but like I said, this is going to be a quick playthrough. Not a lot of room for error here. Ooh, nicely done, Jamie. Now I can't remember if you have to go through that. Is it a teleport? I can't remember. Yes, it is. Ah! Well that was very short and sweet. Congratulations! Your position is first. Please enter your name. How am I going to do this on here? Right, now you can't use the buttons on the keyboard, they don't work. They don't even press. Oh, hang on, it's probably these little ones. No, what is it then? Oh dear, I can't figure this out.
Oh, virtual keyboard. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, that's how you do it. Aha. It's so very, very different. Um... There we go. That's how we do it. Save? No. How do we enter? Oh, okay. See, it's going to take some getting used to. Now, if you go back to the main menu, you just press the menu button again. And you go to exit game. You can also save and load. So that's how we do that. And here we go. So I'm going to do one more game. Now this is going to be for one of my friends, because he messaged me earlier. And he said to play this game, which apparently is on it. If you're watching this, mate, this is for you. Eurygium. Never played it before. Destroy 15 Super Dreadnoughts using your Manta class space fighter. Attack enemy fighters, then neutralize the surface defenses before you land on the master runway. Keep your nerve to select a big bonus score before the counter reaches zero, or you select quit. Resume takeoff, blast any remaining surface targets as a super dreadnought vaporizes. Came out in 1986. So this is for you, mate. If you're watching, I'm sure you are. Okay, I've never played this before. This is the first. This is my first time. Eurydium by Hewson. So I have no idea what to expect. But say, it's, like I said earlier, it's going to be just a quick playthrough. Now this one I don't own as a cassette, but this is very similar to Star Force Nova, which I do own. Very similar. Whoa! Ah, don't hit that block. <laughs> that blows you up. Oh, this is not going well. Sorry, Lee. <laughs> So watch out for those blocks, don't fly into the enemy. And I'm assuming you've got to blow all these up. Uh oh. That wasn't very, very, uh, that wasn't a great attempt really, was it? Let's do that again, shall we? This is not going well. Don't fly into the blocks. Oh my word. This one, I definitely need a lot more practice, that's for sure. I keep flying into that thing. Sorry, Lee. <laughs> I'll try it another time. Right, let's do one more, and then I'm going to end this video there. But I'm, I'm, I'm tickle pink with this, it's really good. Um, yeah, let's go for, let's go for this one. Zynaps. Right, so go for Zynaps. Now this one I've also got as a cassette. This one is one of those bigger cassette cases. And that's also Hewson. This one I can do, but again I'm going to keep it fairly short for this video because obviously this is just a tryout. 
Okay. I love my shoes and up games, but that last one I was a bit rubbish at. But I'll work on it. In this game, you have to collect the tokens, and that allows you to get extra weapons. If you hold the fire button down, you'll select that weapon. And it takes one hit to kill you. Now obviously you start off with a very very basic weapon and, they're not, and the, the rate of fire is very very slow. I think that first one does increase your rate of fire. Or your speed of your, your ship. Ah, it's that one. That's the one. There we go, I can shoot a lot faster now. This is a missile. Or some sort of bomb. You do get boss battles as well. But this game is again a tough a very tough game. I can't get very far on it. This is the first boss. And he's blown me up already. Ah, I forgot about this one. Yes, that should help. And you can actually collect more of, of that weapon. Obviously you've got to collect enough tokens. Right, well, I have to admit, this joystick is quite painful. It's, 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 yeah, I'm... It's gonna take some getting used to, that's for sure. My <laughs> thumb is now starting to ache by pressing it constantly. And there's no auto-fire. Yeah, this is actually quite painful. Right, let's try this again. Ah! Ouch! I think this is the last life. The last life. Increase my rate of fire so I don't have to press this button so much. Because I mean, I'm so used to my zip stick joystick. Because that is my favourite joystick of all time. So you have to hold that fire button down, then collect the token, and the one that's lit up is the one that you take. Try this again, shall we? That is a painful joystick. So if you're going to buy one of these, be warned, because my thumb aches now. Whoops, I just dropped it on the floor. 
it doesn't beat this one. This is the ultimate joystick. Because, uh, yeah. Ouch. But there we go, people. Now I'm going to go back to the main menu. Once you press that, you can save and then exit. And now we're back at the main menu again. Anyway guys, that's going to be the end of my video there, because it was just a tryout. Now I'm tickle pink with this. Um, the joystick is not fantastic, but I suppose the more you use it, you'll get used to it. But my hand is actually quite achy now. It's quite painful, because that button is, is not the best button to press for games like that. But anyway, it's a, it's a great... If you're going to buy one, buy one. Uh, I, that, my one cost me 69.99. Uh, and it looks it looks great. It looks great. I'm still gonna play my old one because that's just the way I am I'm a collector and I like to have the original Systems and I love to have the original games I'm not gonna stop buying games and obviously there are now the opportunities to download Other games. I don't know if you just whether you buy them. I assume you buy them you, you Surely you don't just download them. They can't be free surely but uh, obviously I'm still learning a lot about this and I'll have a, another look through the manual and we'll find out what more it can do. But I'm really impressed with it and I'm really happy with it. it, it it's about time because I've been wanting one of these for a while. And uh, anyway, that's the end of my video. Sorry, I'm rabbiting on. There's a lot to talk about. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. It was a joy to make because it, this was... A very pleasing moment for me to buy one of these um, but yeah please like please comment please share and please do subscribe to my channel and I will be doing some streams on this hopefully hopefully better performances because some of those games I didn't play particularly well at but it is just a test like I keep saying but this is Morgan Just Games my name's Jamie and I do streams every Friday night at 9 o'clock UK time I've got a Facebook page and I've also got an Instagram page, so just type in more than just games and you should find it with no troubles. Any requests, please do so. I am going to be playing some of the new C64 games. Hopefully, if it works, I'm sure it will. But I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to cook some dinner now. My tea is going cold, I forgot about that. But, um. Mm, it's, it's getting there. It's, it's very nearly cold, but I'll still drink it. Take it easy guys, this is Jamie from Morgan Just Games and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Ciao, bye! Ciao!